In this video, I'm going to share with you the best red zone defense that I've used up to this point in Madden 22. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Now like I said, I'm going to be sharing with you in this video the best red zone defense that I personally use uh, in the game. This is an excerpt out of our Nickel 335 Odd Defensive Game Plan. If you want to get the entire Nickel 335 Odd Defensive Guide, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. It literally walks you step by step through how to create some of the best blitzing concepts in the game as well as creating the best match coverages and zone drop defenses to absolutely shut down your opponent we have great run defense as well if you're struggling to stop the run that being said today's uh play comes out of this uh nickel 335 odd and we're going to be breaking down the sam mike one this is a great defense in the red zone all we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and show blitz we're going to then, or I'm sorry, no, 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 we're going to press. I'm sorry. We're not going to show blitz. We're going to press. And then we're going to shade our coverage inside and underneath. We're going to spread our line, and we're going to spread our linebackers. So once our linebackers get spread, we're actually going to reset them just like this right here. We're going to crash our defensive line to the right just like that. And then if you want a little bit of extra coverage, what you can do is drop your defensive end on the right side of the screen into some kind of coverage. I personally prefer uh, a vertical hook zone just like this right here. I find this to be the most effective tactic right here. Got everybody manned up. And one of the routes that a lot of people like to go to in the red zone is this route to the running back. But this cross manning of the linebacker is gonna really put him in a really good position. Now, I couldn't click on and make the play right there, but this is one of the most effective plays in the red zone right here, mesh post out of the gun bunch. Well. Whenever we go ahead and utilize this coverage concept, what you're going to notice is I believe that we're going to be able to essentially take that away. We can obviously go user that, but you'll see right here, see how he's right in the area? So the, right where they're going to throw it, that linebacker's coming in the area and he's going to swat it. Obviously, if I'm only just only playing defense, I'm not playing both offense and defense, I could easily just click onto that player and take that away. Like I said, you can put your defensive end in anything you want, um, but what this allows you to do is it allows you to then be able to have a little bit more energy to be able to focus on this little crossing route right here. You can hand that off to the defensive end. As you see, he's just gonna basically sit right there and take that away. So you're able to take away um, two of the major routes, which allows you then to uh, take away the post route with your user as well. So you can kind of peek from the running back and then go back to the post route, which is one of my favorite little tricks. So I got a hard flood over there. Obviously we're shading our coverage inside, we're shading them underneath, pass committing. And then what you're gonna see here is if I see, oh, there's a post, then I can just go take that away with my user. Obviously I got mixed up because I'm trying to do both uh, controllers, but then I'm able to take that away. You don't really have to worry too much about corner routes in the red zone. Most people don't run that. The biggest thing people are gonna do is they're gonna do some type of in route to the running back or a wheel to the running back and then they're gonna do some type of post. And so as you see right here, we're able to take both of those away. Most of the time the man coverage will back the post anyway because we shaded inside and you're gonna be able to get more stops inside that five yard line. Very difficult area in my opinion this year, um, but it's a very critical area if you're gonna get more stops on defense because we can play bim but don't break, bim but don't break, bim but don't break, get them inside the 10 and have an opportunity to be able to make a stop. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful to you. And if you want to get my full nickel 335 odd defensive guide, I believe that it's the best blitzing defense in the entire game. The cool part about this is we're not only, you might not have noticed this, but we're not only getting, um, we're not only getting uh, really good coverage on this play. I didn't even talk about this yet, but we're going to get insane pressure. You're going to see here, we're going to get this edge pressure every single time at the quarterback. Obviously, I've got Pierre Paul there right now, but if I had Shaq Barrett or if I had uh, in Montez Sweat or some of the faster guys, it'd come in a little bit quicker. But as you see, we're getting really good pressure. So they're not going to be able to block it. Um, one of the other tactics I've, I've seen a lot of people do inside the five yard line is they like to delay fade the tight end because they think that's going to pick up all the pressure not with this defense you're going to see here it doesn't matter if they delay fade the guy you're still going to get pressure now pierre paul is a little slow so that's the problem he's he's not getting around the edge fast enough but if we run this a couple times you'll see um you'll literally see that the delay fade it doesn't the delay fade doesn't matter 
Um, and especially if we put that purple zone over there, you'll see that the delay fade definitely doesn't matter. You know, if I did something like this, and, and you'll take a look, there you see the pressure come around. And so what this allows you to do is, is now you can really play lockdown defense inside the five, inside the 10 yard line. So this is a great defense. It's also good against the run because you have so many people crammed into the box. So you got a really good box count for the run. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my full nickel 335 odd defensive ebook, there is a link in the description. You can get the full defense for just $15. Like I said, it's probably the most fun defense that I've ran all season. I feel like I am actually in a position where I can be a little bit more creative on defense. And I can also be able to send the best pressure in the game and be able to build off of those pressure concepts for coverage. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn the exact defense that I run out of the nickel 335 odd, there's a link in the description below. You can get the full defense for just 15 bucks.